journaling is something that has made a really big difference for me personally and for many of my clients. And so in my most recent blog, I came to share with you how journaling can really help you on many different areas of your life, but specifically I want to talk about self-care. So self-care can be in relation to your stress levels, your work, your relationships, your health, so many different areas. And when we journal with it, it can really bring us to some solutions and ideas that we maybe never even thought possible. So journaling might sound if like writing in a diary, or it might sound like something your you know school teacher made you do, but I wanna look at journaling from a bit of a different area because it's something that's very therapeutic. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. You can get to some you know decisions and answers in your brain a lot faster on some things that are maybe been rolling around in there for a little while. And so today I wanna to talk to you about how you can really improve your self-care with journaling. So you could use just a plain old notebook, like a plain lined notebook. But sometimes that's difficult because you don't necessarily know what to write. So having things like journal prompts can be really, really helpful. So when we talk about journaling, it can mean a, quite a number of different things. And so as you really dive into it, I want you to think about bullet journals or just paper journals or five minute journals or guided journals. Like I have a wellness journal. And so there's lots of different areas that you can cover. And I talk a little bit more about that in the blog as well. So if right off the bat, you're thinking that doesn't work for me, just know that there are different kinds of journals. The next thing I wanna talk about is some of the benefits of journaling. Like how is it actually going to help you? So for me, it helps me think things through. I'm one of those people that I try and multitask and there's 15 things going on in my brain at once. But if I sit down and I list them all out and I weigh pros and cons and I brainstorm on it, it can really help me come to a decision. So it helps me figure out my feelings. It helps me clear my mind. It helps me come to decisions. And so whether you're looking to change your perspective or just to have some new ideas to you know start pouring out sometimes writing it down can really help i also go into this in the blog as well and it gives you a lot more benefits so again if it's something that you're like yeah, i don't really know if that's for me click the link to read the blog because you might find that it's more helpful than you even realize um i've talked already about the different kinds of journals but i want to really uh, introduce you to how I like to journal and what I like to do with my clients because there are like I say many different ways but if you just take a, a blank notebook with lines you might sit down and be like well I don't even know what to write and so what I have is um, a journal that I've collaborated on with a colleague of mine and it's a wellness journal this is exactly what I take my clients through and now it's in print so that you can just easily follow along so it actually is going to walk you through the different areas of your health. So it's actually gonna walk you through and it's gonna give you prompts and checklists and calendars and ask you questions and get you to fill things out. And so as you work your way through, it walks you through exactly what you need to think about, write about, work on, and go from there. And so with you having a guided journal and having an opportunity to like fill in the blanks, it makes it a little bit easier where you're not having to figure out like what the heck am I supposed to be writing? And so that's one option. As I mentioned, having a guided journal is fun as well, or a blank journal is fun as well, if you feel like you just need to pour out your thoughts. So I have all different covers on my Nourish journals, but this one, for example, it's gonna give you like a quote, and then a bunch of blank lines. And so if you feel like you just need to pour your thoughts out, that's an option as well. I'm gonna put the link to these journals inside the blog, so if that you do think that would be helpful, they're very inexpensive and I would love for you to check them out. But most importantly, I want you to start thinking about journaling. Try it out, see where it gets you. Where is an area of your life that you need help with? What do you need to think through? Where do you need support? Where do you need to brainstorm and grab a journal? Because it has honestly changed the way that I approach things and many of my clients as well. And so this week's blog is all about self-care and journaling. I give you some tips. I give you some ideas. I give you some journals. And so go ahead, dive in. I cannot wait to hear how it goes. If you like journaling, let me know. 
What do you journal on? What do you write about? How do you approach this? Share with me below because I would absolutely love to hear what works for you. And when we share these ideas, maybe someone else will get ideas that it works for them as well. So share your ideas below.